Children waiting tables, a common sight in Myanmar. It's estimated that there are between four and five million miners working here, often 14 hours a day, seven days a week. Many have come to cities like Yangon from the countryside and are essentially homeless, sleeping in dormitories or in some cases under tables. When you go, when you look around in, in Myanmar, when you see a bunch of kids working everywhere, on the street corners, traffic lights, selling flowers, selling stuff, and the restaurants, hotel, and also at the uh, uh, domestic workers. Uh, the problem is no one really thinks that there's anything wrong with children's working. A number of NGOs are looking to help change this by offering evening classes, covering everything from English to personal hygiene. Fifteen-year-old Nyang has been working since he was five. I don't know what the future holds. So I want to learn some English and IT so I can get by if I get sick. For many, endemic poverty and the poor state of Myanmar's education system are the root causes of the issue. No parents would love their children to work if they could continue with school. And if, if they can see the future of school going is a better occupation for their family, for their, for their children. Schooling is not yet compulsory in the former British colony, something that may have to change for the next generation to escape being thrust into the workplace at an early age.